On a sunny day in June 1936 in London, Texas, a man named Max Hahn and his wife were walking through the streets near London when they came across an odd-looking piece of metal wrapped in a rock. They took it up, oblivious to the fact that this tool would quickly become a mystery to the archaeologist. That strange-looking rock had an object in it, a hammer. It was dubbed soon as the London Hammer. But the hammer wasn't discovered until 1947. The first mystery part has arrived, and there's a lot more to it. Let's unravel the enigma and mystery behind what is known as the London Hammer. The Hahn family found the rock object in 1936, but it took them 11 years to find a hammer inside it, as their son broke the rock and realized what was attached to it, an iron-headed hammer. The hammer had been moving around for nearly four decades, from museum to museum, until it landed in the hands of Karl Law. A part of the broken nodule is still attached to the hammer, with an unfossilized mollusk shell found partly embedded. The hammerhead was reported to show very little oxidation when it was first exposed to the open air. The hammer was also said to be smooth with a brownish fossil-like coating, but it has become rusted and jagged for some reason. The handle looks primarily unmineralized wood but does show some signs of black carbonization at the ends. This unique hammer is 96% iron and has an approximate length of 6 inches and 1 inch diameter. It is suggested to have been utilized for detailed work on soft metals. The artifact's chemical composition was identified as 0.74% sulfur, 2.6% chlorine, and a whopping 96.6% iron. Different believers suggest that the London Hammer hasn't rusted since its discovery 60 years ago. Some even claim that this unique blend of elements with metallurgy has sadly been a lost technology of ancient mankind. Karl Baugh, a creationist, was the one who purchased the London Hammer. Baugh was so taken with this hammer that he dubbed it the London Artifact and added it to his collection. Karl Baugh displayed it at the Pittsburgh Creation Conference in 1986. The London Hammer was shown again in 2006 at a Baugh talk. Because of this hammer, Baugh and colleagues believed they had discovered evidence of a young Earth and that humans once coexisted with extinct species. And his assertions regarding the ancient peace were going to raise a lot of eyebrows. Ba and other creationists appear to have made assumptions without solid evidence from the start. They assumed that the nodule in which the rock was discovered was once a part of the surrounding rocks. However, they all had difficulty determining the geologic period of the nearby rocks. What makes the London Hammer so unique? The rock in which the tool was discovered is thought to be about 400 million years old. The hammer is so old that part of the handle had begun to transform into coal. This seems impossible as modern humans have only been around for about 200,000 years. So how has a man-made tool become encased in a 400 million year old rock? Because if the measurements are correct, then conventional history is wrong. The London hammer is such that certain experts observed it as a model or style of how American tools were manufactured in the late 1800s. So how could a modern artifact get stuck in rock dating millions of years back? One explanation could be that the highly soluble minerals in the ancient limestone created concrete around the artifact, but it still doesn't make the object the rock's age. Minerals in solutions can harden around objects, stuck or left on the ground, or dropped in a crack. If the source rock is that chemically soluble, could this hammer actually be millions of years old? Is it just human speculations? Is the London hammer the only one of its kind? In Texas, Joe Taylor, the curator of Mount Blanco Fossil Museum, has an amazing set of casts displayed. The casts are such that of depression left in a certain layer of ancient sandstone, with a series of man-made artifacts resembling metal plumping heads. The Pennsylvanian sandstone formation is believed to be 300 million years old, so what exactly were man-made metal objects doing in it? These mysterious yet astonishing depressions were left in a distant riverbed, yet the exact whereabouts and nature of the objects themselves remain a true mystery. These mysteries make us question human intelligence 
and sometimes they shake the core information of when modern humans were believed to have been on Earth. With any tremendous groundbreaking discovery or grand claims, thorough studies and investigations must be made with scientifically proven evidence to have firm ground and have validity. The discovery of this ancient artifact has left scientists and the general public with numerous questions because of its uniqueness. Many inconsistencies surrounding the London Hammer prevent the scientific group from actually confirming details about this ancient artifact. First, reports to where the object was initially located in the rocks are conflicting, with no photographic evidence either. One report states that Mr. Hahn discovered the hammer near the surrounding stones. The other argues that the hammer was stuck in a rock formation dating back to around the Cretaceous period, 65 to 135 million years ago. Skeptics and such argue that the minerals might possibly have cemented the hammer around the millions of years old rock after it was left behind or dropped. This could lead beginner geologists to believe that the rock and the hammer are from the same period, millions of years old. The one valid scientific method of truly determining the specific age of the hammer is by carbon dating of its wooden handle. However, this method is yet to be authorized. Although the handle appears to be somewhat fossilized, this adds certainty to the argument that it truly is an ancient tool. Still, another view weakens this one because fossilization can also occur prematurely due to various natural methods. Some even believe that the hammer was hit by a meteorite that then formed around the tool. And according to what we currently know about the composition of a meteorite, this theory cannot be backed up. The London Hammer appears to be a tool lost or abandoned some 200 years ago to the skeptics. Still, on the other side of the pole, this hammer clearly indicates that mankind has existed on planet Earth a lot longer than previous studies have suggested. The story of the London Hammer is a fascinating one and has only continued to evolve through the years since its discovery because of its unique composition and apparent age. Although it may never be known exactly what this object was or where it came from, it will indeed permanently remain an artifact of interest for those who love hidden treasures and unsolved mysteries. Various scientists have argued over whether this hammer belongs to an era millions of years old or naturally occurred in this state. Researchers are still taking place, and carbon dating for the age of hammer handle is yet to be authorized. Mysteries remain. But what if this London hammer belongs to the Cretaceous period? Had humanity existed such long before? Was there a civilization that existed in that time period that is truly unknown to mankind? Or was it an advanced civilization that left such tools of the same era? If this is the case, this will shake the entire history of what we currently know about when exactly mankind appeared on Earth. The mysteries revolving around the London hammer remain for whatever belief individuals have regarding the hammer. It does genuinely represent mankind's unquenchable thirst for meaning, connection, and knowledge to a large degree. Stay tuned for more next time. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications for new videos.